What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share the guys this content here, guys. As the title suggests, we're gonna be going over the Anchor 633 Maggo MagSafe Charger from the folks at Anchor. Now, they uh, they kind of silently released this here, uh, but I wanted to throw my hat in the ring because I think this is a fantastic product. It's another one of these very high capacity battery packs for MagSafe that uh, I think you guys should definitely consider. With iPhone 14 just around the corner, I think there's something uh, something to note here with these higher capacity. It started off with two, three, four thousand milliamp. Then we moved in, you know, once 13 Pro Max came out with the four, five, and six milliamp battery storages, and now we're pushing eight to ten thousand milliamp battery capacity storage. And this is crazy. With that said, guys. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Anchor has not reached out to me. I did purchase this with my own money. It's a little, it's a little more expensive here. This is uh, a little more uncomfortable than I'm actually used to purchasing for these uh, these storage battery packs. But for you in a pinch, you're traveling, you're camping. This is definitely something you should consider. Down below in the links in the description will be product pricing and availability for this product and all the other products we go over, including any of the cases that I'm using with my iPhone. With that said, guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. All right, like I said here, we have a bunch of competitors uh, from the Anchor. I do have the original Anchor MagSafe battery pack. I didn't end up buying the second generation. We're currently on generation six. I think this is gen three or four. With that said though, we've got Zira, we've got Weasel, we've got iWalk, two iWalks that are over 10,000. Weasel's uh, eight, Zira is six, or I think five. Let's go ahead and unbox it here and then we'll show you the comparisons. The new Anchor 633 MagGo MagSafe Power Bank brings up to 10,000 milliamps. The Qi Charging MagGo delivers 5 watts of charging and up to 20 watts plugged in. That's about 8 times faster than your regular Qi Charging and uh, apparently it takes less than 2 hours to charge fully. What's nice is this charger does have a folding stand and comes in a myriad of different colors. Oh man, that's really disheartening. They basically just daisy chained two 5,000 milliamp batteries together side by side. No wonder it's so heavy. This thing's a beast. It is huge. So it's not a 10,000 milliamp battery, it's just two fives. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Might have to deal with now peeling off this sticky tape. Oh, come on. Okay, so first things first, we're going to weigh this and I'm going to show you how heavy this thing is. So this is an 8,000 uh, milliamp battery from Weasel. This is 155 grams. The Anchor uh, 633 MagGo 10,000 is uh, 218. So you can tell that it's uh, you know vastly heavier. The, the 6,000 milliamp from Zira is 139 and the Anchor is 137. So it's almost twice as heavy as uh, the predecessor Anchor. Look how much bigger it is. It's much, 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 much different. Then you got the big fat iWalk 20,000 milliamp, and this one's hefty. This is a uh, 414 grams. So you can see that it's about twice as twice as light, 200 grams lighter than, than the 20,000, which makes sense. But this is also MagSafe compatible. Here's a comparable 10,000 milliamp battery from iWalk. This one uh, goes at 206. This one's 218 so it's about comparable i'm assuming that they uh they have stacked two 5000 milliamps on this as well this one has a user interface you can see the light here with that how much is charged and when you when you charge it it blinks and changes colors here's the uh, output it doesn't have the extra usb-c and it is it, it is a little bit smaller in form as you can see but it's just as thick if not thicker all right, let's power this guy on for the first time. Uh, I haven't charged it here, so I don't know how much battery's left. I don't know where the interface is. There it is. It looks like we've got mm, between two and three quarters um, battery, so probably 5,000 milliamps. What we're gonna do is just place it on. It adheres nicely on there. You can see it starts charging. So what we know here is that this charging animation is five milliamps, whereas if you get the actual MagSafe animation, it's gonna be seven and a half. See, it's not even showing you the uh, the MagSafe animation that tells you that it's not 
not the best. We're gonna go ahead and show you now the predecessor here. This is the 4,000 milliamp. Push that one and it's gonna, it should show you it. Nope, this one's five, five watts as well. It only pushes out five watts, that's too bad. Let's go ahead and show you a competitor. This is from the folks at Zira. This is a 5,000 milliamp battery. Let's push the button. This should show the uh, MagSafe animation. See, MagSafe animation. We'll push out the Oweasel. This is the Oweasel. This should do the MagSafe animation as well. MagSafe animation as well. So this is pushing out 7.5 as well. Now we'll show you the big beastie one, 20,000 milliamp. This one, uh, you might have to fit like that. This one may not push. There we go. I have to turn it on. There we go. This one should push five, maybe seven. Yeah, five, five watts. Yeah, it's a little disheartening here. Uh, this doesn't push out more than uh, five watts. Uh, a lot of the competitors do. Um, what's nice here is that you have it as a desk buddy. You've got this strong, robust joint here that's metallic that you can place on the back. And if you want it, you know, as a desk buddy to have your feed show, your text, whatever, whatever. you can do it uh, horizontal as well. No, you can't. You can only do it long ways. Otherwise, it's not going to work. This doesn't shift. It doesn't change. It adds a little bit of weight. Maybe that's why it's a little bit heavier than uh, than this iWalk here. So you guys can see the iWalk here fits like that. And it's kind of like a jet pack on your, on your phone. But this is going to push out 7.5 watts. See that? With the MagSafe animation. I mean, look at the difference here. This is so interesting. It's like the same thing, but it's just longer here. Because it's, you know, almost 60% more. For those of you that wanted to know, I'm, I'm sporting here the Moment uh, leather case with MagSafe. And it, it, it covers the whole back side of the phone here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but it is really strong, if you guys are wondering. Very, very strong output. Pongyo's here. Uh, I have a lot of different options that you guys can choose from. But uh, honestly, I don't think the Anchor 633 10,000 milliamp is the one that uh, you should go for. Um, you know, the stand is nice. None of these except for the 20,000 iWalk has a stand, but how often are you placing it on your stand and charging it? I mean, for me, I want something that's very portable, lightweight, and holds a charge. And I think the old weasel is really the best competitor here. This is um, about the same price point. It's half the size. You've also got the ability to multi-charge here. This outputs 20 watts as well, um, but it does have the MagSafe uh, animation, which means it outputs 7.5 watts. It's a little disheartening here that this is only max is at uh, five watts here. With that said, guys, this is my conclusion, my my bias and my opinion. Uh, down below in the links in the description of the product pricing availability, just so you guys know, um, the folks here at Oweasel, iWalk, and Zira in the past gave me these products, so you know where my bias is. They did not sponsor this video, however, but you know that uh, I did get these ones for free. I did pay for the anchors, so you know um, as well that where that bias is. Um, but this is my opinion. It may not be right for you. Uh, consider checking out the links down below. They do help out the channel. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, like this uh, video, and we'll catch you on the next one.